Welcome to One More Barlow, One More Beer. As a new series, I am starting to discuss Barlows. Um, I have accumulated quite a few, and uh, I wanted to be able to show them and discuss them. I may do this as an open tag later. Um, today's discussion will be kind of Rosecraft. Uh, today's beer is Bodhisattva from Georgetown Brewery. Georgetown is located, located up here in the northwest. It's in Georgetown, of course. It's been around for a while. Um, we have a lot of good microbrews here in Washington State. And they're not really seen in other parts of the country quite as much or in parts of the world, so... I figured this orange can uh, was very fitting with uh, these orange covers. So, I've never been a huge fan of Barlow's, um, but I am now. I was more into trappers, other patterns that had more of a, more bone cover instead of a large bolster. Um, and they're qu quite small, I have large hands, I can use them just fine. It's a good small knife. So this is what started it all. It's the beer tender by Baron Son. Uh, it was about thirty nine dollars at Smoking Mountain Knife Works. Oh, got to get this in here. Got this today. Holy cow, look at it. It's even orange. What a great sticker. Ode to Star Wars. Yeah, on Tatooine there. They should have put... Oh, there it is. Two suns. Great sticker. Anyhow. Uh, $38, $39. It's got this interesting... Uh, bottle cap opener. A lot of people don't like this tip. I think it's for breaking up ice. Who knows? Um, a few people have cut it off and made a screwdriver out of it. I don't know how a screwdriver would work if you're turning it like this. Because the blades kind of point down. So I'm keeping it as is. Cool knife. The covers are exquisite. It looks like a fresh poured beer. It's got the beer tap etched here on the bolster. What a great knife. That's kind of what inspired this. And so the Barlows continue. One more Barlow. How about that? Uh, let's go on. I want to discuss Rosecraft in this video. And this is... The Rosecraft Beaver Creek Barlow. I've done a review of it. A lot of people have done reviews on it. TK, excuse me, Thrifty Kniffy. JB. Great knives. Rosecraft Blades. This is like $54. This is also etched on. This is D2 Steel. Amazing snap. Centered blade, beautiful back springs. That's considered a traditional Barlow. Maybe not because the blade's more of a, I guess you'd call it a sheep's foot instead of a clip point. I don't know. It's debatable. This is the Arthur. Wright and Son from Sheffield, England. Barlow. Notice the bolster isn't at quite as large as a traditional Barlow. But despite that, they call it a Barlow. It's got a great pull. It's got a nice clip point blade, a little bit of swedging there, 
This is Stagbone. I lucked out to get the file work on the back spring and here on the back side of the blade. Uh, to me, if it comes from Sheffield, England, and they call it a Barlow, this is a Barlow. I was watching the review of this knife. This is the Rosecraft Blades Luhusahachi Jack. Now they don't call it a Barlow. Let's get my beer. I have to have a sip of beer. They don't call it a Barlow. But um, some people consider it a Barlow. I consider it a Barlow. Um, JB, Big Red AC, EDC, was reviewing this knife, and he mentioned it was a Barlow, and somebody commented, hey, that's not a bar Barlow. Well, I disagree. Look at the bolsters on this, compared to the Sheffield Arthur Wright & Son Barlow. This bolster is actually a little bit bigger. It's got a clip point blade with some nice swedging. Granted, Rosecraft Blades does not call this a Barlow. It's a Barlow to me and many other people. Just wanted to clear that up. Compare it to an actual Made in England Barlow. Would this not be considered a Barlow because the blade angles down? I don't know. I don't want to get um, <clears throat> crotchety old Bam Baxter on you guys. But they're all Barlows to me. And beautiful covers. Um, I'm going to try to keep these videos uh, under 10 minutes. I have so many Barlows to go through and so many things to say about them. Uh, these are four here that are really high quality and must get. Uh, this is not available anymore. I just was going to get the uh, the wood one, but they were not available. And so I opted for this stag bone, and they weren't. And he threw this in uh, and didn't upcharge me for the filed back work. This one blows my mind. I've done a review of it a while ago. The, the walk and talk is just... It's no half stops, but it's like a 9-10 pull at the end there. O one one Steel, I believe. Uh, Rosecraft Blaze is killing it. Their walk and talk with a half stop is also incredible. I'm not going to get into blade centering and back springs. They're all pretty much perfect on all these knives. This is a Barlow. But this is the Beaver Creek Barlow. Maybe they'll make one with a clip point blade like this someday. A lot of people, and me including, included, would prefer a stamped bolster. I'm sure it would bring the price point up. I like the price point low. And like I said, a lot of people do not like... Maybe not a lot. I don't know. I've heard a few people say they don't like the downturn blade. This is a great knife for under $40. Made in America. Stainless steel. Amazing covers. I can get four fingers on it. Great blade. So I'm I'm keeping these uh, under ten minutes or under twelve minutes. Um, I was gonna get another beer, 
but I still have beer in here, so you'll have to wait till next episode to see the next beer. I really appreciate you all watching. This is episode one. I may make this an open tag, or if you feel like making a video like this, feel free. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.